Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your October monthly reading. This is a general reading for the sun, moon, and rising sign of Sagittarius. I would like to thank all of you who have liked, subscribed, and shared my videos. And to those of you who have booked readings and made donations to my channel, I absolutely love doing this for you. Yes, I'll keep saying that. <laughs> and if you would like a personal reading for you, the specifics of your situation, you can go to ascendingsoulsjourney.com. At the top, you will see a tab that says readings, another that has guidance, and you can select from there what, uh, what appeals to you, and you can pay for it, and it gives you all the instructions on what I need to conduct a reading for you. So, what we have, Sagittarius, in the top row, this is the past moving into the present and the present moving into the future. Okay, those are the uh, possible outcomes. We have the Knight of Swords, Justice, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Eight of Pentacles in the past. So, some of you have been working for a boss. You've been working really hard for a boss that has been... Um, um, I'm hearing the word like a slave driver, like really working you to the bone and and expecting you to put in more than what I want to say they want to get back, meaning it's a salaried position, you're not getting any overtime, but they expect you to throw in 60, 70 hours a week to try and help their business succeed. So the, the, the justice is here because the scales of are out of balance okay in this particular scenario what you're dealing with is not being reciprocated so you have a choice coming justice is about the scales being balanced karma what you put in is what you're going to get out very important for you as you leave the past this could be the end of September moving into the first week of October but as you move forward it's important for you to stand up and speak your truth have the strength and the courage because you have a choice to make very seven of wands very important for you to stand up for what you believe in stand up and fight for your rights if they aren't paying you enough then they need to do to do so and in, they may need to bring in another person they won't do it unless you speak to them, this group of you. You have to actually stand up to them. So if you're afraid, any fear, sometimes it's fearful to go up to somebody, especially when we really need our job. And what I'm getting is this person is actually taking advantage of that. They know your situation. So they're taking advantage of you. So super important, stand up for yourself so that you can move forward and actually have the sun because that is what's in the future. Now, for others of you, you're creating a beautiful world for yourself. You are working very hard. You have an opportunity coming or it just came either the end of September, very beginning of October. It just came or it's coming to you. But you have an opportunity to create a brand new partnership with somebody in business that is going to uh, lead you to an abundance of prosperity, a lot of prosperity. Now, the person that you'll be dealing with may be a married couple, a husband and a wife. But here's the thing. It may not be this huge, huge corporation, but it's a good, solid company, and these people have a lot of integrity. They speak the truth. It's a little harsh, so prepare for that, but you have a choice of whether or not to move forward into this and create a new union with this company, and this is like a what you'd call a mom and pop shop, right? It's a husband and wife own this business. So it's important for you because this is really what I'm hearing is it's a very, very good opportunity, but you do have to stand up and you have to approach the situation. Get that strength and courage to move forward. This opportunity is going to lead you to abundance. Okay, and standing up for what you want is going to give you the equal fair share that you deserve. Now, it's important that you not focus on something in the past, not focus on anything other than your job. Focus on what they have to offer you. If there are contracts involved, make sure you read the fine print. 
these are honest people. They're not going to try to injure you in any way. They are going to try to actually reciprocate. So it's a, it, it really is a wonderful opportunity for this group of you to make the choice to move forward. And we have the star card here. We have the Ten of Pentacles and we have the Sun. So it's what you're wishing for. It's leading you to something amazing. It's going to lead you to prosperity, a beautiful world that you're, you're going to actually be able to get. Now for love, when it comes to love, Some of you have been working very hard on your relationship and you feel very strong and confident in yourself. There is um, some out of balance going on, ending in September, moving into October. It's a little out of balance, but it's important for you to speak up and really ex express yourself. I mean, truly express yourself in this relationship this is with the current partner you standing up for what you believe in is going to give you what you want if we say nothing we'll get nothing if we actually speak our peace and we ask we express ourselves in a way that is uh, uh, truthful and clear this is going to help you move forward and in doing this it's going to turn actually like transform the relationship is what i'm hearing like creating this um, uh, much better harmony between the two of you for those of you who are single you have an opportunity coming to you as well an opportunity that in the past, it may not have been, um, you may have been dealing with some somebody, a situation that was very difficult, very challenging to deal with. You've been away from this situation long enough that your healing has actually taken place. And you understand the whole karma situation and how the universe works with this. Now it's important for you to continue to work hard in your thinking and creating a, a brand new partnership with somebody because you have somebody coming. You actually have choices in love. But it's important for you to be strong. Look, you've got justice, strength, and the star. You've got the lovers. You've got beautiful cards here, the sun. It doesn't matter whether you're in a relationship or you're starting a new relationship. All you Sagittarians out there, this is actually beautiful. So for those of you single, you have this opportunity coming to create this union. We have the Two of Cups as a clarifying card, but we also have the Lovers. It may actually be your soulmate that's coming. Um, there could be some codependency, but what I'm hearing for a group of you, you're the one that's more codependent at this time. And the, it, it has to do with the way that you were brought up. Um, so you are indulging in things that you shouldn't be. This could also include enabling. You may be attracting people who have addictions and you are enabling them. But this one particular group, the codependency is in your thinking. It's the way you're thinking. So by changing the way you think, you're going to create a brand new opportunity with this person that's coming because this is the person for you and in doing this letting go of anything in the past letting go of the codependency doing the work actually healing from your past that's when you're going to move into a beautiful future with this person a long-term stable relationship it's very important you have the card playful and playful is about being in the now that means letting go of the past so you have the card here telling you you have the strength you have the universe on your side you can heal you can have all the hope and faith and it is going to happen the healing is very important when whether you're dealing with your existing partner or the new person that's coming into your life playfulness let go of the past do not look at the future. Be in the moment, at the moment. 
okay? That's when the real you comes out. Not only is the real you gonna show and they'll see you for who you really are, and that's what you want. You see, this person is focused on something else, not you, okay? Or vice versa, but um, you wanna show who you truly are and you want to see them as they truly are by being in the now, being playful. You see things very clearly. It's important for those of you in a relationship or if you just meet somebody, either which way, retreat, take time. Take time to get to know them. Take time to open up to them so that you can make a decision, so that you have the strength to make a decision to be with this person or move into a different direction. Ultimately, whatever decision you choose is going to bring you the sun, okay? This is the beautiful card, the very last card. Anything that was hidden in your current relationship is gonna come forward. You'll be able to stand up for yourself. You will have the strength. The universe is on your side. You are being guided to stand strong in who you are. This person, this is the queen of wands, they tell the truth. They speak their truth. They know how to cut things out, but your soulmate is in route to you and it's very important for this healing to take place. You won't be able to be with them if you are unhealed. If there are codependent issues on your end, you've got to release them, you've got to heal from them. You've got to let go of the past and that will lead you into an, a beautiful, beautiful future with your partner or the new person with your love life is what I should say. So I do hope this helps you, Sagittarius, and you have an absolutely beautiful October. Much love.